But what we do is I cover player cam during the uh, during the game and Johnny covers director. So if you want to figure out what my link is, twitch.tv slash smells worthless, or you can do the multi command in my chat or in Johnny's chat today or um, every every time we start off, I start off with the oxygen players and then we'll head into the vitality players. So we traditionally start off with Farah. Here you go, game one here. Farrah, We're about to kick off. Farah, game one. If you want to see his yep. POV of the game, head over to Matt's channel. It's the right camera over here. You'll hear the same casting on both. Although Matt's channel does have a tendency to leak the caster face caps at random periods or at random times throughout Not the today, broadcast. Not today, Johnny. Not, Not today. today. I am 100% on transitions. Did you transition I'm here? A, I'm reformed. I have transition. Oh, that would be so funny if you did. Oh, nice save by Chalset. No boost, but he still got there. That's what happened two weeks ago when I did pretty well. I was like 75%, and as soon as we got to like the point where I started getting cocky, then I forgot, and yeah. I looked... The percentage very just manish. plummeted. Now, we did get to catch the tail end, or myself and Matt uh, got to caught the catch the tail end of this. Uh, the previous series of Vitality played in the semis against Singularity. That went to Game 7 overtime, and it was a difficult series for them. They didn't really look too organized, to be honest. They were getting in each other's way. <laughs> Speaking of which, get up just crashing into Alpha, or rather Alpha crashing into Gate up there. I, I've been seeing quite a lot of that from them in the last few games that we saw. Um, very chaotic. Now I expect them to elevate their gameplay, and they have already opened the scoring. You know, doesn't really matter if they're driving into each other. They still score goals, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Paid up, no nonsense. Alpha likewise, one nil. Man, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of comments in chat about how they wish I was still messing up so they could get more mat cam. It's very sweet, you guys. I it's love you too. Kind. Uh, Kate up with the the Kate up with the unaf or like the uh, unorthodox sort of like land and pinch that together with Fairy Peak on that last play. It worked out in their favor, but I was I was thinking it was a bit heavy handed when I first saw it happen. But yeah, they did score the goal, so it is pretty bizarre. High Vitality, even back when they were playing with Scrub Killer, they were somewhat known for just having an incredibly chaotic playstyle at times, where they all get in each other's way and they all triple commit for saves, but they still end up being in you know the team making all the grand finals and winning all the prize money and here we are again well Kershaw comes in everybody's trying to get to it but nobody able to it seems like an absolute it's a mess for vitality right now it's trying to get in, uh, into some kind of rotation it's just not working um but oxygen still need to keep their wits about them at any moment vitality might just sling a shot towards the net and power on their hits is never really something that they're lacking Absolutely not. But I have to say, thus far, the game does look pretty evenly matched. Uh, Oxygen has been, you know, sitting, not playing for quite a while now, so I'm wondering if that's going to become a big disadvantage for them. You know, Vitality's yeah. coming off this series. They did get some chance Ooh. to break. Nice save by Farah. They got a chance to take a, a little bit of a break here, but the, the advantage they have is that they are warmed up, and it feels like we've been waiting for like an hour, to be honest. Ooh! Ooh a double touch from Alpha. He is looking on right now. That was filthy. I love the little pass from Kadop as well, making it look like he's shooting. Instead, just drops it down to his left and a really low altitude double touch from Alpha at the near post. Um, cleanest play we've seen from Vitality yet by a long way. Uh, but yeah, to speak to that, you know, break versus no break, I think for these teams, it probably won't make a difference. And, you know, we've seen Oxygen come back from no break several times in the grid and immediately score and then win game one or crush game one. I'm like, yeah, they don't really mind. Like, these guys, they're so used to just having to go into that tournament mode when the game shows up uh, that, yeah, they won't have any problems doing that, I think. Neither will Vitality. And that's how most actual tournaments happen um, in Rocket League. You're sitting around a lot. And then, if, then you have to play when the game, you know, I, I, when the game has to start. Oh, wow. Oh, is that a mind game by Fairy Peak? He really delayed his shot here and gets the third goal for Vitality. That's so smart. I think he did somewhat delay this. Placed it behind the goalie. Vitality are beast mode despite their disorganization at the start of the game. Yeah, they are, they are looking good right now. Um, and just to finish up on what we were saying about the breaks there, I... I agree with you that, like, yeah, you have to deal with the breaks, but I still think that it probably gives an advantage to the team that has less of a break. Maybe. Or at least has not been on, like, a, a big break. Yeah, I could agree with that. At the start of a series, yeah. But what about at the end of a series when a team's had to play, like, the third best of seven in a True. row that all yeah, go to yeah. game seven? Then maybe 
Vitality will... Right? Yeah, yeah, Vitality might fatigue sooner, um, even though at the start they, they could be fresher, so there's like a, it's a bit of a trade-off. Um, somebody just pointed out, by the way, Vital or Alpha's picture, or Astral's profile picture is Fairy Peak, and so is Alpha. Are they both? Do they both have Fairy Peak profile pictures right now? Is, is this where Fairy Peak was was exposed without uh, pants on? Is no that what this is way. From? Is that when he ex when he stood up with no um, trousers on? I'm not gonna like use the American terminology here because in the UK that means something completely different. But I know ah, what you mean, Matt. Maybe underwear, right? <laughs> yeah, getting up with no pants on in the UK that would that would be a bat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easy to. That would be uh, that would be a bat. <laughs> Is that All what right, happened, so guys? One in chat, that's actually, I've not seen the clip. Is this from that so clip? I don't know. Somebody also uh, pointed out, uh, Harry pointed out that uh, KDOP might be dry, not uh, like uh, dry, low fat mozzarella. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what's that about? And then <laughs> Grim says, uh, KDOP is like pure protein powder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they oh, use the protein goodness. powder on the pizza right now. That's hilarious. Oh man, we yeah, we didn't pizza vitality yet. We really need to do that. Forget yeah. about the game. We're in game one. What are we doing talking about the game? We should be talking about pizza, right? So KFK Dop is, is the time. pure pizza protein powder. What would Fairy Peak be? Um, never actually seen Fairy Peak eat a pizza, or Alpha for that matter, but the fact that Alpha doesn't like vegetables really it, it, it kinda limits us, but only in some way. Cheese so, pizza. He's one of those people that can only eat cheese pizza. You think so? Only the cheese. Probably. I mean, Alpha, I reckon you'll, you'll like a, a pepperoni pizza. Probably a fan, if I had to guess. By the uh, way, my, my assumption that Alpha doesn't eat, uh, like vegetables, that is probably about a year old tradition now. I don't know if it's still true, but um, possibly. We'll have to find that out later, I'm sure. What's the, what's the tradition that you assume people don't like vegetables? Oh, no, no, no. The Alpha in particular doesn't like vegetables. Chaussette and Alpha. I was out. Uh, we uh, after Dreamhack Montreal last year, we uh, we had a group of us went out for I think it was a Japanese barbecue, and uh, obviously delicious, absolutely delicious vegetables. Honestly, the broccoli, best broccoli I've ever tasted, and you could not pay Alpha to eat this broccoli, to try it. He wouldn't do it. He, he, tr he really gave it a go because I think um, someone offered to, to pay for his dinner if he would eat a bit, if he would take a bite <laughs> of the broccoli. So he wanted uh, he wanted something. He was like, oh, man, I really want somebody to pay my dinner here. And if I bite the broccoli, then it's going to happen. But he kept on like lifting it up to his mouth, and then right when he's about to do it, he was like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. But he's like, you know, gagging and <laughs> being... Like a massive drama queen, but yeah, he was serious. He could, couldn't eat the broccoli. No happening. Oh, that's so funny. I mean, that's kind of how I grew up, to be honest with you. Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah. was super picky eater when I was growing up. I never ate vegetables unless they were like soaked in butter, and it was like, <laughs> it was like peas and corn, and that's it. And they had to be soaked. I mean, drowning in butter. It's not, it's not so uh, much butter on your broccoli as broccoli on the butter. Like I couldn't eat broccoli. Sweater. Broccoli was a, a later, later stage oh, in life. A thing. Later I didn't edition. eat a salad until I was 24, so that was like I can kind of understand these guys a little yeah. bit. But now I, I eat everything, so I don't know. I don't know what happened, what changed. Yeah, to be just, honest. Just got to give it a go one day. That's uh, one for the future. But yeah, that's why for me right now, until I see evidence to the contrary, Alpha cannot be a vegetable pizza ingredient. Yeah, he's cheese, man. I think yeah, he's just cheese, the cheese. cheese. He's just which, the plain which one, cheese. though? Just mozzarella? Yeah, probably. I mean, he's he's a one cheese pizza. Gregan was what? in chat. He said that. <laughs> he said, he said that. Uh, he said that Fairy Peak likes a four cheese pizza. Ah, okay. I, I definitely believe that. Oh, good placement Ooh. there by Fairy. Just picking out the little, like, it, really, if if pizza, if Fairy is cutting a pizza, he would be really good at getting all the slices the same size. Like you know, some some people they cut the pizza into six pieces. And you're like, this is they're not even remotely the same. I bet you Fairy Peak gets them exactly the same. There's no argument over who gets what piece because they're all the same. Yeah, he's just a generous guy, you know. Yeah, just very Caring. precise and very fair, and he's amazing at osu. Got that is dexterity. He? Oh my goodness, is Fairy Peak good at osu? You need to check out some of his osu streams. This man is a video gamer. And Kidop is pretty good. He got pretty good pretty fast. So what was that game where you were trying to get your way up the hill with uh, 
with the, the the guy in the pot with the hammer or whatever. Well, I don't know what that game Getting over it. Getting over it. Oh my goodness. Dude. Yeah, first time it's okay to play that game. He couldn't even get past the first obstacle. Is that 12 Titans year, year two, actually? Yeah, between his practice games, he was playing getting over it. And then by the end, he's, by the end of the week, he's speed running it. I was like, how have you <laughs> gone from not being able to get past the first obstacle? Now you're speed running the game. And these guys are. They're a different breed when it comes to learning how to get good at games. Shasta getting a little bit too close to comfort there. But doesn't end up being a, a goal. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking uh, Octane and Shasta. This confident play from him. Um, after switching back to the Fennec. And this is something I've talked about before. You know, whenever uh, as an Octane player, I switch to the Fennec. For the, right after the switch, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm a new player. I'm amazing. I, my dribbles are so fast. And then after a while, I start, I don't know, just fall off again. The connections to the ball aren't as clean. Switch back to the Octane. You're better than you ever were before. Like, I really do think of being able to switch between those two hitboxes or any two hitboxes in Rocket League. It's a great thing to have in your back pocket. Oh, that's a whiff and a goal. Very peak capitalizing on a miss. Clear. Vitality are just disposing of Oxygen. Yeah, they're looking just a little bit faster and a little bit more uh, tight in their team play than Oxygen right now. I would say that it's, it still feels like a small margin, but at the same time, you know, you, ha you have confidence that Vitality is the better team right now. Mm -hmm. They've cleaned it up. They've cleaned up all the mess uh, that they had earlier on. Probably got some tips from Space Station Gaming's Arsenal, who loves to clean dishes, do the dishes between his tournament series. No better time to do chores than after swiftly 3-0ing an opponent. Uh, since uh, Vitality didn't 3-0 their last round, KDOP is having to do that during the game. Oh, oh what wow. a back pass by Shotset! <laughs> that is uh, that is a ranked back pass right there, where you end 100%. up own goaling and then just shout back pass and hope for the best. That is the back pass where you care way more about the demo than you can <laughs> care about <laughs> whatever's going to happen after the demo. This is Fair like up. watching Lending artisanal thin crust brick oven pizza versus Papa John's. Listen, no comment <laughs> on any <laughs> brands. <laughs> no comment on, a, on on the grid streams. Find me on my just personal streams midweek with these <laughs> comparisons. <laughs> That's hilarious though. Twitch chat, you guys, I don't think you embraced the analogy of the day at this much ever before on any of the grid streams, including Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you guys are meme lords tonight, and I love it. I approve. Oh, look at, look at Alpha coming off the backboard there with that classic pizza control. <laughs> oh, that's a team pinch. Yeah, I'd love pinchy to see you get Just rebound that one in, so we can get get to see the team pinch on the replay. Uh, you went for something a bit more, a bit more fancy, a bit more luxurious, a bit more Mark by Eight brand. Ooh, Mark by Eight. Do you think Mark by Eight's gonna branch out into pizza as well after tonight? We're giving him all kinds of ideas in the streams. We Maybe should be wine. paid as his Maybe consultants. Maybe a vineyard, a wine brand. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. I can see that. Hey, what I can't see though is how on earth Oxygen are supposed to turn the series around. They just look dead in the water. Uh, they were so speedy and so confident. Um, in the last three rounds especially. First round of the day against Chalked. I don't really know what to make of that. That was just like, you know, that was Oxygen versus Chalked. But, you know, since then, we've had BDS, Giants, Team Liquid. Every single one of those series, Oxygen have played brilliantly. They've had synergy, confidence, solo plays, team plays. And now we're getting none of that. And Vitality are just walking right through them. I, I, I'm... A bit confused. Maybe it's just the, the pressure again. Is it the grand finals pressure getting to them? It's something that we try not to talk too much about because it's so it's a you know pure speculation. <laughs> We're going on Astral Cam here to see if oh, yeah. Astral is woken up yet. But I think it's the break, Johnny. Honestly, they're the the less fresh team. And uh, hmm. I don't know though because they they still getting it together. They've dominated off longer breaks than this several not times in the grid. Yeah, no, I guess Vitality. That's true, but I, I think it. You know, the fact that they've lost one final to Top Blokes, they've lost one final to Triple Trouble, and now they're losing a final to 
Vitality. And in every one of those tournaments, Oxygen just were not able to replicate what they did in the run to the final once they got to the final. And that reminds me, oh no, it reminds me of their RLCSX runs as well in regionals. It's just all falling apart under the mo like the highest pressure situations. And oh dear, when I said they were lacking synergy, that's not what I was referring to. Yikers. Yikers in the chat for oh that dear. one. That, that's, that's brutal, but I did come up with a good idea. I did come up with a good idea for Mark by eight. Okay. So he can become a mukbang streamer, a food streamer. Oh yeah. And he can yeah. he can name the show Eight by Mark. Wow. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, my right. goodness. <laughs> the amount so. of transitions this guy has after his illustrious Rocket League career, just unbelievable. So many different things that other players just can't even dream of. Luxury branded. <laughs> you guys yeah, need to it. get us in touch with him. We need a translator. We're going to become his manager. Yeah, we should definitely like get paid like for this. Team management. Wow. So we saw one little pinball machine at the Oxygen Box result in a goal for Vitality. And now it happens oh. at the other side of the field, and it bounces clear. You know, similarly to Game 3 of Oxygen versus Team Liquid, this might not, it just might not be Oxygen series. This isn't going well for them in the clutch. The random moments where things are just... You know, we're happening and completely out of everybody's control. Are falling in the way of Vitality as if they needed any help and they're already 2 0 up. But yeah, they're getting it. Yeah, the, the action team is just looking disorganized. They look disconnected from each other. And, you know, credit to Vitality. They're a very difficult team to play against. They all space so aggressively. Um, and they make them make themselves very difficult to get the ball past. And when you're playing against a team that are just full of players who will not let you outplay them, um, nobody's just lunging in and making a silly challenge. They're really good at just putting in one challenge and then following up on another one and then following up on another, another one, generally. But it makes Oxidens play extremely difficult to execute. Somebody like Astral is completely stifled. There's no space for him to outplay multiple players. Vitality are controlling that space and uh, they're dictating the flow of the game that is how it feels right now astral has 68 points and one shot right now which is pretty low for him for halfway through oh the wow game. no way um, oh that was so close that would have been pinch of the season alpha was way off ground level there and he's hit the bar just unbelievable but you know it's it's something that Alpha and Astral are often talked about. They're the troublemakers of the teams, not in a bad way. They're making trouble for their opponents, generally. But when Vitality play against Oxygen, you never, you rarely see both of them showing up at the same time. It's usually one or the other, and right now it's all Alpha 54. He is playing out of his mind. Center ball there from Alpha, and Kata wow. almost sneaks it by Astral, doing just enough to keep that ball out of the net. This is uh, Oxygen absorbing a lot of pressure. Bit of a sponge here, a deep crust absorbing all the sauce. Yeah, this is definitely some American-inspired brand oh. uh, that we're looking at. There's, there's so much space for all of the pizza toppings to swim around in. And uh, it's, yeah, it's it's drowning oxygen. 2 nil. another very simple goal goes in. Vitality, the best team in the world at making simple goals happen for them. I never expected this. After Oxygen swept Team Liquid and beat Giants and BDS, the other two top teams in the region in the run to the final, you assumed this would be a close series, but it doesn't look that way. Another great save by K-Dop. And the ball bounces out, and away she goes back into the blue half. No boost for Chaussette in the back corner, but he arrives. He missed it by just a couple of split seconds. They're running out of time, Matt, and really no clear way through. Vitality are playing so cleanly, so well. They have, they've, they're the team who really stepped up compared to the semifinals. Yeah, I mean, this does not look anything like the team we saw throwing up spaghetti all over their shoes. <laughs> Sorry to use the graphic words of Eminem to describe that game, but it was not pretty. Oh, that should be a goal. Surely. Chassette's going to steal it. So for once, the Vitality defense is undone. That was a beautiful demo. Oxygen 
Leaving nothing up to chance on that play, but they still need one more if they're going to come back here. So good that I'm here to let the chat know that one goal is not enough to come back from 2-0 down. Where would you be without me? Oh my goodness, Fairy Peak just barely missing that, and Farrah does a good job to send it away. Oh, Astral actually sneaking out the touch there. I really thought that Alpha had that ball, but just barely missing. This is a good opportunity here for Oxygen. They need to turn this into a goal quickly. Oh, not Time is running out, and it does not look like they're going to be able to do that. Oh, Farrah can't even keep that one out. Kato makes it 3-1, and surely end of the game. I mean, it is technically possible for a goal to go from the center circle into the back of the net in one second but for that to happen you need two things to occur you need a pinch and you need the other team to get out of the way that's not going to happen game three belongs to vitality ridiculous um, we're seeing two very clear things developing number one is that vitality are able to step it up they looked um, extremely messy versus Singularity, at least in the end of the series that I saw in, uh, well, after Oxen were done sweeping Team Liquid, we went and watched the end of the Vitality Singularity series, and Vitality looked all over the place. They were able to scrape a win, but it was definitely nothing like what we're seeing right now from them. And meanwhile, Oxygen, they have totally fallen off. What has happened to the Oxygen who were zooming around the field and outplaying all their opponents earlier on in the day? They are just, they're gone. We're watching three different players. Unless they step it up, unless we go back to what we saw earlier, Oxygen, or they have no chance. There's no way they reverse sweep Vitality unless they just uh, go all in here. Just no holding back. Because what they're doing right now is far from working. Yeah, they're going to need to change something if they're going to have a different outcome here. We're going to go on board with Alpha Cam getting some request for the young vegetable list phenom. <laughs> We'll yeah, one day. Go on board with Alpha. We'll have to. Uh, we need to update that. Obviously, uh, a year has passed almost since then. So maybe now Alpha's consumed an entire vegetable, and I just haven't heard about it. I'm just giving you guys that data information. I'll try and find out. Um, maybe, maybe the Vitality stream are the right people to ask. They might uh, be collecting that kind of valuable information regularly, getting updates on Alpha's vegetable consumption. Chalset was uh, right there with them, you know, they were, they were both uh, on the same boat there. Kid up, flip resets the ball over too. And once again, Oxygen are kind of there to watch it go in right past them. Yeah, that was rough stuff. Nice little flick there from, from KDOP. It was hard to tell where that one was going to go. I actually thought he'd probably get a little bit more power on it, but Chasset, the closest to saving it, just had to try to float in midair, and it, it didn't go so well for him. Astral, oh wow, and a bloodlust for Alpha here. He's chasing him all over the field right now. Gotta say, I like it. Yeah, it's, at this point, well. it might be an idea. Just completely switch up the game plan. Just get physical. Do something. Oxygen need to change it up. What they're doing right now is just not working at all. They just look so sluggish. Um, this maybe is a chance, but Vitality are so confident with their 50-50 game that it always looks to be so safe. This this kind of counterattack it, it can always develop into something. Nice save there, I shall say, after the initial miss. But, you know, we see so many goals against other teams off one 50-50s. How many times do you see a 50-50 against Vitality developing into a goal for their opponents? Very rarely, because they're so, so good at manipulating these into their favor, at least manipulating it into a position where the other team can't really score off. Man, Oxygen needs to put the put the pieces together here. I can't imagine losing in another Grand Finals is going to do a lot for the, the no. team confidence. Definitely not and like are, this. We all already know they're playing below their level lately with their performance in Regional 2, for instance. And, uh, yeah. you know, I'm sure they're looking for answers. And I well, would like to see them put put it together and find some answers during during this Grand Final if they can. I mean, now is the time. Well, I hate to say it, but what we're seeing right now from Oxygen and what we have seen in the previous three games as well, it very much looks like their RLCSX regional version of themselves. This looks like what we uh, witnessed last weekend and a month ago in Regional 1. Um, for some reason, Oxygen 
haven't been able to perform in those regional events and also in the grand finals of the grid. Everything else up to the grand finals, not a problem. It doesn't matter who the opponents are, Oxenden have been playing well. Yes, they haven't been undefeated in all those matches, but they've played well in all of them. And this one is a different story. Vitality are making Oxenden look so normal. Um, it looks like a total mismatch overall. It looks like a mismatch. And Oxenden need to try and do something. That was an attempted bump on Alpha. who got away from it and made the challenge. Just these little things make Vitality so hard to outplay. Many a player would have been demoed there, and that would have been a shot for Oxenden, but Vitality... They're not giving them anything here. They're going to dodge the demos, make the challenges, win the 50-50s, get the job done. Alpha, nice Good pass save. down. Great save from Oxygen. Looked like Fairy Peak, all he had to do there was tap that in, but heroic play by the team in blue. Boost management for Astral, just running out at the worst possible time there. He had a bit more to play with, that was the chance that Oxygen were looking for. Nice knock into the ceiling. Ferris going to try and bump Fairy, but Fairy's got back up. And once more, Oxygen can't even get a shot on net. Oh, oh Chassette's just missed the ball. He didn't realize the bump was connecting. Now he's playing for when it's open, but there's the save last second. Alpha dives across and takes out the player again. Oxygen have had a chance there, a real opportunity. Chassette did not read the whip. Oh, that was a heartbreaker of a shot there. I thought for sure we were going to equalize. I also, Matt, thought we would have equalized there. As but members we did of not. this team, oh, no. active playing members of this team, we expect to score that. Oh, we have conceded. And I might even I go as far to say that I'm experiencing physical pain from the, this, this vision. That I have seen. 2 0. Lights out. That's okay. my bad, guys. That's my bad. I let that one in. I uh, just. <laughs> I thought we might as well try and lighten Ooh. the mood a little bit for all the Oxygen fans who can't be too happy right now. It's just, it's getting a bit too, too repetitive, unfortunately, for all the Oxygen fans watching. Why can't they play when the pressure is at an all time high? And no matter what they say about the, the grid and how, you know, how it's just their practice game. So no matter what any team says about the grid and how they treat that like practice for the main event, the RLCS regionals, grand finals are grand finals. They always bring this kind of atmosphere to the to the table where anything can happen. Um, and once again, at a complete letdown performance for Oxygen, but Vitality will be thoroughly delighted. They move to number one overall in the grid leaderboard for EU as if they weren't already doing well enough and Oxygen will have to settle for third for now it's been overall another pretty successful grid run for them but unless they can get that top spot in the grid leaderboard doesn't really matter Ooh, that is a clean 4-0 sweep Johnny destroyed that, absolutely that, destroyed that that is I can't I can't decide whether to describe that as like a great or horrible. In the case that it's horrible, that's like when you put a pizza in the oven mm. and you forget about it and you come back Ooh. and it is just a carbon disc, which that's basically what's happened here. Exactly what happened to me. The very first salt mine cast that I did oh, with, yeah. Marky. <laughs> yeah, I with Marky. I was like, Marky, you got to cover for me, buddy. Uh, I ran to the oven and I took out the pizza and it was completely wrecked. <laughs> 100% wrecked. That's how I had the same feeling as what I had back then. <laughs> that's um, that's what we just witnessed. Yeah, Oxygen, they forgot. That, I think it was even worse than that. It's not just that they burnt the pizza. They left the oven on, went to bed, and then next thing they know, a fire alarm's going off. They have to get up in the middle of the night, run outside in the street in their underwear, just like Fairy Peak did in a stream, and then they look back at their house, the whole place is on fire. Like You couldn't get much, got much worse than this. Might as well throw in like a complete collapse of the foundation into some kind of sinkhole that appeared. It's, I don't think a burning house from leaving the oven on is a good enough description um, of what just happened. This was this was the worst possible thing that could have happened for Oxygen. Everything that went wrong, that could have gone wrong, went wrong, and Vitality have swept them. Yeah, yeah. Mm, but hey, pizza, Vitality are pretty good at Rock League, right? Pizza metaphors won't save you now, you know? No, no, unfortunately. It's over.
That's GG's. That's that GG's, GG's for us oh. here at the breathing room. Best broccoli I've ever tasted. And you could not pay Alpha to eat this broccoli. To try it. He wouldn't do it. He, he, tr he really gave it a go because I think um, someone offered to, to pay for his dinner if he would eat a bit if you would take a bite of the broccoli <laughs> so he wanted uh, he wanted something he was like oh man i really want somebody to pay my dinner here and if i bite the broccoli then it's gonna happen but he kept on like lifting it up to his mouth and then right when he's about to do it he was like no no no, i can't i can't i can't but he's like you know gagging as <laughs> a big like a massive drama queen but yeah he was serious he could couldn't eat the broccoli not happening Oh, that's so funny. I mean, that's kind of how I grew up, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I yeah. was super picky here when I was growing up. I never ate vegetables unless they were like soaked in butter. And it was like, <laughs> it was like peas and corn and that's it. And they had to be soaked. I mean, drowning in butter. It's not, it's not so uh, much butter on your broccoli as broccoli and the butter. Just like I couldn't eat broccoli. Soda. Broccoli was a, a later, later stage in oh, life. A later like, I didn't addition. eat a salad until I was 24. So that was like I can kind of understand these guys a little yeah. bit. But now I, I eat everything. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. What changed? Yeah. To be honest. Just, just got to give it a go one day. That's uh, one for the future. But yeah, that's why for me right now, until I see evidence to the contrary, Alpha cannot be a vegetable pizza ingredient. Yeah, so, he's cheese, man. I think he's just cheese, the cheese. cheese. He's just which the plain which one cheese. though? Just mozzarella. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's he's a one cheese pizza. Gregan was what? in chat. He said that, <laughs> he said he said that uh, he said that Fairy Peak likes a four cheese pizza. Ah, okay. I, I definitely believe that. Oh, good placement Ooh. there by Fairy. Just picking out the little like it, really if if pizza if Fairy is cutting a pizza, he would be really good at getting all the slices the same size. Like you know, some some people they cut the pizza into six pieces. You're like, this is they're not even remotely the same. I bet you Fairy Pete gets them exactly the same. There's no argument over who gets what piece because they're all the same. Yeah, he's just a generous guy, you know. Yeah, just very Caring. precise and very fair, and he's amazing at Osu. Got that is dexterity. He? Oh my goodness, is Fairy Pete good at Osu? You need to check out some of his Osu streams. This man is a video gamer. A kid off is pretty good. He got pretty good pretty fast. At, what was that game where you were trying to get your way up the hill with the with the the, the guy in the pot with the hammer or whatever? Well, I don't know what that game Getting was called. Getting over it. Getting over it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, first time I saw Kid all play that game, he couldn't even get past the first obstacle. Is that 12 Titans year year two actually? Yeah, between his practice games, he was playing getting over it, and then by the end, he by the end of the week, he's speed running it. I was like, how have you gone <laughs> from not being able to get past the first obstacle? Now you're speed running the game, and these guys are—they're a different breed when it comes to learning how to get good at games. Shots like getting a little bit too close to comfort there, but doesn't end up being a a goal. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking uh, Octane Chaussette, this confident play from him um, after switching back to the Fennec. And this is something I've talked about before, you know, whenever as an Octane player I switch to the Fennec, for the, right after the switch I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm a new player, I'm amazing, I, my dribbles are so fast. And then after a while I start, I don't know, just fall off again, the connection to the ball aren't as clean, switch back to the Octane, you're better than you ever were before. Like, I really do think of being able to switch between those two hitboxes, or any two hitboxes in Rock League. It's a great thing to have in your back pocket. Oh, that's a whiff and a goal. Very peak capitalizing on a miss. Clear. Vitality are just disposing of oxygen. Yeah, they're looking just a little bit faster and a little bit more uh, tight in their team play than oxygen right now. I would say that it's it still feels like a small margin, but at the same time, you know, you have you have confidence that Vitality is the better team right now. Mm -hmm. They've cleaned it up. They've cleaned up all the mess uh, that they had earlier on. Probably got some tips from Space Station Gaming's Arsenal, who loves to clean dishes, do the dishes between his tournament series. No better time to do chores than after swiftly three zeroing an opponent. Uh, since uh, Vitality didn't 3-0 their last round, KDOP is having to do that during the game. Oh, oh what wow. a back pass by Shawset! <laughs> That's a, that is a ranked back pass right there, where you end 100%. up own goaling and then just shout back pass and hope for the best. That is the back pass where you care way more about the demo than you care about <laughs> whatever's going to happen after the demo. 
This is Fair like right. watching Lunging artisanal thin crust brick oven pizza versus Papa John's. Listen, no comment <laughs> on any <laughs> brands. <laughs> no comment on, a, on on the grid streams. Find me on my just personal stream midweek with these <laughs> comparisons. <laughs> That's hilarious though. Twitch chat, you guys, I don't think you embraced the analogy of the day at this much ever before on any of the grid streams, including Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you guys are meme lords tonight, and I love it. I approve. Oh, look at, look at Alpha coming off the backboard there with that classic pizza control. <laughs> oh, that's a team pinch. Yeah, I love to see get off. Just rebound that one in, so we can get get to see the team pitch on the replay. Uh, you went for something a bit more, a bit more fancy, a bit more luxurious, a bit more Mark by Eight brand. Ooh, Mark by Eight. Do you think Mark by Eight is going to branch out into pizza as well after tonight? <laughs> We're giving him all kinds of ideas in the streams. We Maybe should be wine. paid as his Maybe consultants. a vineyard, a wine brand. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. I can see that. Hey, what I can't see though is how on earth Oxygen are supposed to turn the series around. They just look dead in the water. Uh, they were so speedy and so confident um, in the last three rounds, especially. First round of the day against Chalked. I don't really know what to make of that. That was just like, you know, that was Oxygen versus Chalked. But, you know, since then, we've had BDS, Giants, Team Liquid. Every single one of those series, Oxygen have played brilliantly. They've had synergy, confidence, solo plays, team plays. And now we're getting none of that. And Vitality, you're just walking right through them. I, I, I'm a bit confused. Maybe it's just the, the pressure again. Is it the Grand Finals pressure getting to them? It's something that we try not to talk too much about because it's so, it's a you know pure speculation. <laughs> we're going on Astral Cam here to see if oh, yeah. Astral has woken up yet. But I think it's the break, Johnny. Honestly, they're the, they're the less fresh team. And... Uh, hmm. I don't know though, because they've still, they've still getting it together. They've dominated off longer breaks than this several Not times in the grid. Yeah, no, I guess vitality. That's true, but I, I think it. You know, the fact that they've lost one final to Top Blocks, they've lost one final to Triple Trouble, and now they're losing a final to Vitality. And in every one of those tournaments, Oxygen just were not able to replicate what they did in the run to the final once they got to the final. And that reminds me. Oh no! It reminds me of their RLCSX runs as well in regionals. It's just all falling apart under the most, like the highest pressure situations. And oh dear, when I said they were lacking synergy, that's not what I was referring to. Yikers. Yikers in the chat for oh that dear. one. That, that's that's brutal. But I did come up with a good <laughs> I, I did come up with a good idea for Mark by eight. Okay. So he can become a mukbang streamer, a food streamer. Oh yeah. And he can yeah. he can name the show Eight by Mark. Wow. Yeah, oh right. my goodness. <laughs> The amount so. of transitions this guy has after his illustrious Rock League career, just unbelievable. So many different things that other players just can't even dream of. Luxury branded. <laughs> you guys need to get us in touch with him. We need a translator. We're going to become his manager. Yeah, we should definitely Luckily. get paid for this. Team management. Wow. So we saw one little pinball machine at the Oxygen Box result in a goal for Vitality. And now it happens oh. to the other side of the field, and it bounces clear. You know, similarly to game three of Oxygen versus Team Liquid, this might not, it just might not be Oxygen series. This isn't going well for them in the clutch. The random moments where things are just, you know, happening completely out of everybody's control are falling in the way of Vitality as if they needed any help and they're already 2-0 up. But yeah, they're getting it. Yeah, the, the Oxygen team is just looking disorganized. They look disconnected from each other. And you know, credit to Vitality. They're a very difficult team to play against. They all space so aggressively, um, and they make, them, make themselves very difficult to get the ball past. And when you're playing against a team that are just full of players who will not let you outplay them, um, nobody's just lunging in and making a silly challenge. They're really good at just putting in one challenge and then following up on another one and then following up on another one, generally. But it makes Oxidant's play extremely difficult to execute. Somebody like Astral is completely stifled. There's no space for him to outplay multiple players. Vitality are controlling that space. And they're dictating the flow of the game. 
That is how it feels right now. Astral has 68 points and one shot right now, which is pretty low for him for halfway through oh, the game. Oh, wow. No way. Um, oh, that was so close. That would have been pinch of the season. Alpha was way off ground level there, and he's hit the bar. Just unbelievable. But, you know, it's, it's something that Alpha and Astral are often talked about. They're the troublemakers of the teams, not in a bad way. They're making trouble for their opponents generally but when vitality play against oxygen you never you rarely see both of them showing up at the same time it's usually one or the other and right now it's all alpha 54 he is playing out of his mind center ball there from alpha and kata wow. almost sneaks it by astral doing just enough to keep that ball out of the net this is uh oxygen absorbing a lot of pressure bit of a sponge here, a deep crust absorbing all the sauce. Yeah, this is definitely some American inspired brand oh. uh, that we're looking at. There's, there's so much space for all of the pizza toppings to swim around in. And it's, yeah, it's, it's drowning oxygen. 2-0, another very simple goal goes in. Vitality, the best team in the world at making simple goals happen for them I never expected this after Oxidant swept Team Liquid and beat Giants and BDS the other two top teams in the region in the run to the final you assume this would be a close series but it doesn't look that way another great save by Kate up and the ball bounces out and away she goes back into the blue half no boost for Chaussette in the back corner when he arrives he missed it by just a couple of split seconds they're running out of time Matt and really no clear way through Vitality are Playing so cleanly, so well. They have, they've, they're the team who really stepped up compared to the semifinals. Yeah, the, I mean, this does not look anything like the team we saw throwing up spaghetti all over their shoes. <laughs> Sorry to use the graphic words of Eminem to describe that game, but it was not pretty. Oh, that should be a goal, surely. Chassette's gonna steal it. So for once, the Vitality defense is undone. That was a beautiful demo. Oxygen leaving nothing up to chance on that play, but they still need one more if they're going to come back here. So good that I'm here to let the chat know that one goal is not enough to come back from 2-0 down. Where would you be without me? Oh my goodness. Fairy Peak just barely missing that, and Farrah does a good job to send it away. Oh, Astral actually sneaking on the touch there. I really thought that Alpha had that ball, but just barely missing. This is a good opportunity here for Oxygen. They need to turn this into a goal quickly. Oh, it's not Time good. is running out, and it does not look like they're going to be able to do that. Oh, Farrah can't even keep that one out. Kato makes it 3-1 on Shirley. End of the game. I mean, it is technically possible for a goal to go from the center circle into the back of the net in one second but for that to happen you need two things to occur you need a pinch and you need the other team to get out of the way that's not going to happen game three belongs to vitality ridiculous um, we're seeing two very clear things developing number one is that vitality are able to step it up they looked um, extremely messy versus singularity at least in the end of the series that I saw in uh, well after Oxygen were done sweeping Team Liquid we went and watched the end of the Vitality Singularity series and Vitality looked all over the place they were able to scrape a win but it was definitely nothing like what we're seeing right now from them and meanwhile Oxygen they have totally fallen off what has happened to the Oxygen who were zooming around the field and outplaying all their opponents earlier on in the day they are just they're gone we're watching three different players. Unless they step it up, unless we go back to what we saw earlier, Oxygen, or they have no chance. There's no way they reverse sweep Vitality unless they just uh, go all in here. Just no holding back. Because what they're doing right now is far from working. Yeah, they're going to need to change something if they're going to have a different outcome here. We're going to go on board with Alpha Cam getting some request for the young vegetable list phenom. <laughs> We'll yeah, one day. Go on board with Alpha. We'll have to. Uh, we need to update that. Obviously, uh, there, a year has passed almost since then. So maybe now Alpha's consumed an entire vegetable, and I just haven't heard about it. 
I'm um, just giving you guys that data information. I'll try and find out. Um, maybe, maybe the Vitality stream are the right people to ask. They might um, be collecting that kind of valuable information regularly. Getting updates on Alpha's vegetable consumption. Chalset was uh, right there with them, you know. They were, they were both on uh, the same boat there. Kid up, flip resets them all over too. And once again, uh, Oxiden are kind of there to watch it go in right past him. Yeah, that was rough stuff. Nice little flick there from, from KDOP. It was hard to tell where that one was going to go. I actually thought he'd probably get a little bit more power on it, but Chasset, the closest to saving it, just had to try to float in midair, and it, it didn't go so well for him. Astral, oh wow. A bloodlust for Alpha here. He's chasing him all over the field right now. Gotta say, I like it. Yeah, it's, at this point, well. it might be an idea. Just completely switch up the game plan. Just get physical. Do something. Oxygen need to change it up. What they're doing right now is just not working at all. They just look so sluggish. Um, this maybe is a chance, but Vitality are so confident with their 50-50 game that it always looks to be so safe. This this kind of counterattack it, it can always develop into something. Nice save there by Chelsea after the initial miss. But, you know, we see so many goals against other teams off one 50-50s. How many times do you see a 50-50 against Vitality developing into a goal for their opponents? Very rarely, because they're so, so good at manipulating these into their favor, at least manipulating it into a position where the other team can't really score off. Man, Oxygen needs to put the put the pieces together here. I can't imagine losing in another Grand Finals is going to do a lot for the, the no. team confidence. Definitely not and like we are, this. We all already know they're playing below their level lately with their performance in Regional 2, for instance. And, uh, yeah. you know, I'm sure they're looking for answers and I well, would like to see them put put it together and find some answers during, during this Grand Final if they can. I mean, now is the time. Well, I hate to say it, but what we're seeing right now from Oxygen and what we have seen in the previous three games as well, it very much looks like their RLCSX regional version of themselves. This looks like what we uh, witnessed last weekend and a month ago in Regional 1. Um, for some reason, Oxygen haven't been able to perform in those regional events and also in the Grand Finals of the grid. Everything else up to the Grand Finals, not a problem. It doesn't matter who the opponents are, Oxygen have been playing well. Yes, they haven't been undefeated in all those matches, but they've played well in all of them. And this one is a different story. Vitality are making Oxygen look so normal. Um, it looks like a total mismatch overall. It looks like a mismatch. And Oxygen need to try and do something. That was an attempted bump on Alpha. who got away from it and made the challenge. Just these little things make Vitality so hard to outplay. Many a player would have been demoed there, and that would have been a shot for Oxygen, but Vitality... They're not giving them anything here. They're going to dodge the demos, make the challenges, win the 50-50s, get the job done. Alpha, nice Good pass save. down. Great save from Oxygen. It looked like Fairy Peak, all he had to do there was tap that in, but heroic play by the team in blue. Boost management for Astral, just running out at the worst possible time there. He had a bit more to play with, that was the chance that Oxygen were looking for. Nice knock into the ceiling. Ferris going to try and bump Fairy, but Fairy's got back up. And once more, Oxygen can't even get a shot on net. Oh, oh Chassette's just missed the ball. He didn't realize the bump was connecting. Now he's playing for when it's open, but there's a save last second. Alpha dives across and takes out the player again. Oxygen have had a chance there, a real opportunity. Chassette did not read the whip. Oh, that was a heartbreaker of a shot there. I thought for sure we were going to equalize. I also, Matt, thought we would have equalized there. As but members did of not. this team, oh, no. active playing members of this team, we expect to score that. Oh, we have conceded. And I might even I go as far to say that I'm experiencing physical pain from the, this, this vision that I have seen. 2 nil. Lights out. That's okay. my bad, guys. That's my bad. I let that one in. I uh, just... <laughs> I thought might as well try and lighten Ooh. the mood a little bit for all the Oxygen fans who can't be too happy right now. It's just, it's getting a bit too too repetitive, unfortunately, for all the Oxygen fans watching. Why can't they play 
when the pressure is at an all-time high. And no matter what they say about the the grid and how you know how it's just their practice games, how, no matter what any team says about the grid and how they treat that like practice for the main event, the RLCS regionals, grand finals are grand finals. They always bring this kind of atmosphere to the to the table where anything can happen. Um, and once again, a complete letdown performance for Oxygen. But Vitality will be thoroughly delighted. They move to number one overall in the grid leaderboard for EU as if they weren't already doing well enough. And Oxygen will have to settle for third for now. It's been overall another pretty successful grid run for them. But unless they can get that top spot in the grid leaderboard, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that is a clean 4-0 sweep, Johnny. Destroyed. That, Absolutely that, destroyed. That that is I can't I can't decide whether to describe that as like a great or horrible. In the case that it's horrible, that's like when you put a pizza in the oven mm. and you forget about it and you come back Ooh. and it is just a carbon disc.